Greetings, family, in the wonderful name of Jesus. This is Silo Ministries, and this is the time that God gives us an opportunity to worship Him under these conditions that are affecting the country. At this moment, I believe we are marking a, a, a time where coronavirus has affected many nations, especially South Africa. We I categorize it and take Houting as one of the provinces in, in, in South Africa that have been hit tremendously by this uh, disease. So the 22nd of March marks a time when churches are made to come to a standstill at a particular point. But I just want to say to you, family, that uh, this is the time when we need to stand up as a church and also believe that the Lord is with us. The executive committee met and they've come up with a solution of uh, complying to the call of the president, Cyril Ramaphosa, and the government that gathering more than 100 needs to be uh, suspended or prohibited. So, but as a church, we will not be having a church service today, but we are going to have family altars from time to time, and we are all encouraged to make sure that you meet with your family and you pray together, you share the word together. But over and above, we are going to take a stand as a church to have a sermon that I'm going to give you an encouraging words for today. So there is a word that I want to give you from the book of Isaiah chapter 43, verse number one, the Bible says, but now that says the Lord, who created you, O Jacob. Where it says Jacob, you can put in your name. And he who formed you, O Israel. If it says Israel again, you can put up your name. It says, Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. Verse number two says, When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And, though the and through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flame scorch you. So these are the encouraging words, even if we're living under these times, these difficult conditions, where you cannot uh, trust any condition or touch anything, and only the solution being what the government have cautioned us with, to say we need to comply to the washing of hands, we need to comply with the distance between uh, each other, which is 1.5 meters, and at the same time, having sanitizers everywhere. Though we do that, but I just want to encourage you that do not fear. Fear is what paralyzes people, and fear is what is going to make you to live a, a life that is going to be so uh, affected by so many things. But the Bible says, do not fear because the Lord has created you. He says when you pass through the waters, even if you pass through these difficult times, this is times of coronavirus, and then, but the Bible says, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. I want to say to you, stand firm, stand bold, trust in the Lord. It's only the Lord that can lead you and the only one who can make you to be successful. I also want to draw you to the book of Isaiah chapter 26, and I will read the 20th verse of chapter 26. The Bible says uh, in this verse, Isaiah chapter 26, verse number 20, it says, Come, my people, enter your chambers as, and shut your doors behind you. Hide yourselves as it is where for a little moment until the indignation is passed. If you read it in a good news Bible, it talks about uh, come my people and enter into your houses, shut your doors behind you and hide yourself until the anger of the Lord is passed. So this is the time when as the people of God, as the chosen nation, as the, 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 the creation and, and the people who have 
been called by the name of the Lord, we need to shut the doors in our houses and at the same time, and also hide yourself uh, under the name of the Lord. The Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous run to it and are safe. You are encouraged this morning, that is, you go into your houses and create, that is, the family altars. It is the time where you don't need to sit down and come and lament about so many things, but this is the moment where you need to sit down and go to the Lord in your houses and have, that is, family altars. I just want to say to you, stand firm for today. Trust in the Lord. He is the only one who can lead you to great success in everything that you do. He will protect you. He promised us, Jesus Christ, that he will never leave nor forsake us, but he will be with us up to the end of the age. God bless you. May our good Lord richly bless you and keep you from now and onwards. This is Siloam Gospel Wings.